Well, hello and welcome back all you Staus fans and welcome to all those Calendar Cricket Club fans out there too for the first match, the long-awaited first match of our three T20 series between the St. Andrews University Staff Cricket Club and Calendar Cricket Club. I'm Jim the Editor. I will be playing this first match of the series. We'll be playing at the St. Andrews University Staff Cricket Club home ground. So without further ado... Let's get into it. Here we are at the home ground of the University of St. Andrews. C1. Good afternoon to you all. As Michael Slater joins us in the commentary box. And Scotland. I'm Michael Slater, and this is James Taylor. Thanks, Slats. I've been really looking forward to this. Here we have the lineups which we've gone over in a video with me and Barry the other day. Hard to say what the captains will do here. Thanks, James. We have a standard and very soft wicket. So not a lot of grass on top. Doesn't look like there'll be much in it for the seamers. Going down to the middle now. The captains are there for the toss. Calendar is the away side calling. And we have won the toss. St. Andrews win the toss. And we're going to have a bowl first. The toss, and we'll have a bowl. So, thoughts with bowling first, just with Calendar's batting lineup. We want to make them set the, the target here. Didn't want them chasing. Time for the first ball. Oh, and we have rain. We have a rain-shortened match. It's a 16-over affair. As I just reset the field. And as I was saying, yeah, a rain-shortened match. 16 overs aside. I feel like this is going to favor the visitors with their aggressive batting lineup. But we'll see what happens. McPherson in for the first delivery of the match. Bowling, and this is just punched into the leg side by Mould. Off the mark. Off the mark first ball. That's a good start. Ian Glenn on strike now for his first ball of this series. Person in, he finds the edge, yep. flies away safely. Hey, doing the field there. Building there, rather, at short fight, short third man. Words. McPherson and again. Yep. Full once more, edged into his pad. And the batsman are through One very quickly for that run. Good running by this calendar pair. Certainly setting a high standard already. First and end, this one's wider and struck along the ground firmly to the covers. Fielded by Franklin. McPherson and again. This one's short of beats him outside of some. Wow! That really did not carry through to McLennan. Final ball of the over. Very tidy for McPherson so far. Yep. This one's nudged out into the covers. mid off is the fielding. One run. Very good, over comes to an end. good start for St. Andrews there. Is coming into the attack from the university end. As we have Armstrong in for the second over of the match. Mold on strike. Outside off stump, swinging in. Punched out to Franklin in the covers. Armstrong in once more. This is full and hit up over cover point. There is a man back. And it'll just be one. Bit of aggression being shown by the calendar batsman now. Brings Glenn on strike. Waiting. 
Outside off stump, punched out to the covers. Point does a fielding, it's JT there. Armstrong in again. Outside off stump, played out to point. Another tidy over so far for St. Andrews. Been a good start by the bowlers. Finds the edge this time, Armstrong. This is Down to really short third man. Another dot ball. Final delivery. Armstrong Zins punched off the back foot. Can't beat Some Franklin. Nice in that one. Very tidy start for St. Andrews. McPherson to continue. Rolling to mould. Yep. Inside edge and it's going to run away for four. First boundary of the calendar innings and it's an inside edge past the wicketkeeper. Well, that might just be a little piece of momentum that calendar need here. Get them rolling. McPherson again beats him outside off stump this time. Good comeback. McPherson in again. Short outside off stump. Just punched out to the covers. Fourth ball, McPherson's in. This is struck firmly out through extra cover. There is a man back. That's Armstrong. Picks it up well on the bounce. Another single for Calendar. Then on strike, he's on one. This one's cut and can't beat cover. Loopy throw in there for a Franklin. That does the job. Final ball of the third over. Calendar are on nine. First and in. This one strikes Glenn. There's an appeal for LBW, but that's going to miss off stump, I believe. Here we have that last LBW shout, and as we can see, it's a mile outside off stump. Well, three overs into the match. Calendar, none for nine. Armstrong to continue. This one's outside off stump. Finds an edge through backward point. It's racing away towards the boundary. JT's after it. Flicks it back. And Calendar are going to come back for three. Good running there from Glenn. Moves the score on to 12. Armstrong's in. Bowls. And has played it on. Armstrong just plugging away with that length outside off stump. And Glenn has gone. Played on for one. Never really looked comfortable. And that brings Sedant to the crease. Well, this is the start that St. Andrews would have only dreamt of. Sedan's first ball oh, crashes it over point. Patrick. Well picked up on the boundary. And will now be looking to build. Hounder moved through to 13 now for the loss of one. But two dangerous batsmen at the crease. Armstrong into mold and this is punched out into the covers. Armstrong, one for five for him. He's in again. Bull and driven, can't beat point. Just seem to be struggling a little bit with the lack of pace of this outfield. As this one's shorter and a little bit slower from Armstrong. Another dot ball. McPherson staying on here for his third over. Falling into the new batsman, Sanka. Oh, Manka, sorry. As Sedant plays that through the leg side. One more added. Doing well to rotate the strike at the moment, Sedant. 
As McPherson's in, this one's a mole that doesn't carry to slip. Tidy, tidy bowling there from the St. Andrews Quick. Back in again, this time it's an inside edge and it's running away towards the fine league boundary. Crooks is after it, I think he'll rein that in. That's been coming back for a third, they're taking on Crooks' arm. There's an appeal for run out. They're going upstairs. This could be big. And he's out. Oh, that's terrible news for the, for the visitors. He's out. Sedant, who looks settled, run out for two. Roy, the new batsman, arrives at the And crease. Calendar now. Two for 16. As Pearson comes out to the crease. First ball finds the edge, but doesn't go to hand. Two balls left in the over for McPherson. He's in. This one's played through the leg side. Beats Seagal. Four runs. Bit more aggression being shown there. That's what we like to see from Calendar. Pearson moves on to four with that. Off the mark. Two for 20. Runs outside off stump and played out Gets to cover point. And keeps it tidy. Armstrong in for his third now. Bollington Mould who's on 13. Since outside off stump, yep. played firmly out to a diving point. Does well to stop it but can't stop the single. Yes, and on strike now to Armstrong. Yep. One's full and driven out to mid-off. They run with the shot. Get the single. Get single there. Armstrong in again. Third yep. ball. This one's crashed Precision up and over. Backward a point. Shot. It's a fantastic stroke. Four runs. Takes Jack onto 18. He's up to a runner ball now. What's Armstrong got in return? This one's full and angling into leg. Can't beat Seagal. Two balls left in the over for Armstrong. This is full and laid out to cover. Armstrong in again. Finds the edge. Does it carry through? No, says the umpire. And of course, with the loss of overs due to rain, bowlers can now only bowl three overs. See how that changes things up as Hayes in. First ball is crashed over backward point. Not a good start for Hay. Allender move on to 30. Hay in again. Yep. One's hit firmly down the ground. Well cut off by Earnshaw at mid-off. They get the single. Brings Jack back on strike. Plays this one out to mid on. He's timed that beautifully, but can't beat the man. Hey, and again. This one strikes the batsman. That's got to be close. No, says the umpire. That looked really close. St. Andrews deciding quickly to challenge this one. Oh, it looks like it's going to be missing off. Yep, well and truly. <laughs> oh, well, that's a terrible challenge from St. Andrews. And the decision stands. He remains not out. And that's the one and only challenge of the innings. And the decision remains not out. That was their final review for the innings.
So in the end, it's just a dot ball as Hay continues. Beats Mold outside off stump. Not able to connect. Final ball of the over. Hay in. Inside edge from Mold. This one's just squirted out to fine leg. Crooks is chasing it. And they only get one. End of the over. Six runs coming from it. This bowler really can get these spinning a long way. Well, seven overs gone, and it's time for the introduction of spin. Furniture into the attack. Yep. One's outside off stump. Reverse sweep. Well executed by Mold. They got one. They're coming back for two. Split and in the end, comfortable two. And sure in. This one's helped up over the leg side. There is a man back. Will he cut that off? No, he won't. Much the bowler could have done differently there. Superb shot. A great start here for Calendar. Earnshaw, one of St. Andrew's most reliable bowlers usually. This one's flicked up over the leg side. Not as much power though. That's a boundary saved. You get one. Get one there. Well, seven coming from the first three balls of the Sova. And sure in. Super crosses, sure stumps as Pearson. Lick that out to Cow Corner. It's four runs. And just in again. This one's further outside off stump. Just doesn't turn back enough. Good comeback from Earnshaw. You feeling good about that one? Final ball of the over. One's just knocked down to extra Not cover. Side there. Good over for Calendar though. A to continue. Yep. One finds the edge. Keeper, keeper. Just squirts behind point. Through for a single. Jack Mould through to 27. From 29 balls. Pearson at the other end. He's on 14. And on strike. He punches this one through the covers. That's been a through for one. They get a single. Mold on strike. A into him. This one's full. Beats him outside off stump. A very tidy line from Hay. And again, this time he's across his stumps, flicks that up and over, wide mid on. What a shot! What's he got to reply with? This one's shorter, and oh, that's a good ball. Didn't know where that was going. Two for 49. A in. Bowls, and this one's punched out through the covers. They get a single, and that's the 50 up for Calendar. Earnshaw continuing. 11 off his first over. I'm Mulder's punching down the ground, but can't beat Franklin. Venture and again. Strikes the batsman. There's an appeal for LBW. May have hit him outside the line. Umpire not convinced. And from the bowler as well. He was certain on that one. Venture and again. This one's swept. Can't beat mid on though. Want to get the strike turning over. Been a good comeback over so far for Earnshaw. It's outside off stump and plays and misses at it. Two balls left in the over. Earnshaw in. One straighter and swept. Can't beat mid wicket. Good precise bowling. Another dot ball. Final ball of the over for Earnshaw. Outside off stump, hit up in the air, over extra cover, it'll beat the cover sweeper, four runs.
Hay in for his final over here. Yep. He's full outside off stump. Pearson's punching that through the offside. We haven't seen much of Pearson in the last few overs. Gets off strike with a single though. Hey, and again, this one's crashed up and over cover. Man back will cut this one off, though. And it's a good two. Better throw might have, might have had him. But old gets two. He's on to 38. Hey, and to bowl. This one's hit past extra cover. Can't beat the man at long off, though. I threw for a single. Brings Pearson back on strike. A into him. One's angling into leg. They're going to come through for a leg by. They feel pretty confident about this. Mold on strike. A into him. This one's driven out through the covers. He'll get a single. Into the 40s. This innings is shaping up well. Well, the loss of four overs is really starting to add up now. We have five overs and one ball left. This one's hit up and over mid-off. Doesn't quite carry to the man on the boundary. And through for a single calendar, but with five overs to go, two for 61. We have Pearson on strike to Earnshaw. Goes for the switch hit. Ambitious there. As the throw hits the batsman. Sure Franklin will be apologizing for that one. Earnshaw and again to Pearson. It's outside off stump. Driven. Into the covers. They'll get one this time. They take a single. Earnshaw to Mould. This one's outside off stump. Finds the edge. Travels along the ground to short third man. Earnshaw and again. This one's straighter and again another reverse sweep from Mould. This time for a single. One run added. Yes, and on strike. Earnshaw. Two balls left. One's outside off stump and cracked up and over extra cover. And away for four. Good way to bring up 50 partnership for these two. Last ball in the 12th over. Insure in. This one's switch hit that's been just clipped past the man at extra cover. He'll get two as long off was slow to get round to it. With Hay bowled out, we have Haynes into bowl. He starts off with a wide. So wide there. Haynes in again. This time it's inside the line, finds the edge. Hands back into Mould, who's playing straight. Hits him a round off stump, swinging away. So, don't think that one's hitting. Umpire agrees. And they're through for one leg by. Hands in again. This one's shorter to Pearson. He nudges that through the covers. Three and a half over, overs left for Calendar. Hands in. It's a big off cutter. Run out to point. Mold should really be looking to get on with it here. Hangs in, bowls, and it just misses off stump. Fantastic delivery there from Alex Haynes. Last ball of the over. 
Then bowls is full and driven out to point. Good bowling in that over. The right armor is the new bowler from the university end. And Jess, the sixth bowler to be used by St Andrews, customed in the virtual world to coming in at the end of the innings. That's a fantastic that first delivery. Yes, on strike is on 25. Yeah. Jess into him. This one's just nudged out into the covers. They'll get another single. And a single. Well, under three overs to go. Calendar are a little bit behind the eight ball there. That's a fantastic delivery from Jess. A lot of movement there for the medium pacer. Jess in, this one's hit up and over extra cover. McPherson back on the boundary does well to get to it, but He'll can't stop two. two. Great shot. Hold on to 43. As that one beats him outside off stump. Final ball here for Jess. Then bowls it shorter and hits straight. Through for one. That's some good bowling. A very good over from Jess. Two overs left and Calendar must be looking at over a hundred. Got to be here. Haynes is in. This one's just chipped up past mid off. Get one. Pearson on strike now. This one is a bit straighter from Haynes. It's a shout for LBW. No, says the umpire. Let's take a look at that on Hawkeye. And yeah, again, just outside off stump. Pearson on 26. Haynes into him. This one's straighter, but I think it might have been sliding down leg. Umpire agrees. Umpire not interested there. Oh wow, that straightened a long way off the wicket. Bad luck for St Andrews. Ends in again. This one's outside off stump and punched into the covers. Another single for Calendar. One run taken. back on strike he's on 45 yep. one's full and just clipped into the leg side did not get any of that one they get a single though final ball here for Haynes this has got Pearson moving across his stumps and this time this time he's out well bowled by Haynes. It was a bit slower, and this time it was the off cutter. That's been discussing whether or not to appeal the decision, and no, there's no challenge. And Roy Pearson goes for a well made 27. Four boundaries in that. Tanner is the new man at the non strikers end. And that brings Tanner Hill to the crease. But of course, it's the final over. Bold by Jess, so Mold's on strike. This one's full and crashed up and over extra cover. It'll find the gap and that'll be 50 for Jack. And that's the half century. He's really anchored this innings. I would question whether he's waited a bit too long to start going for it. But only time will tell. Jess in again, this one's full. Driven into the covers. One run. So the new batsman is at the crease. As Michael Slater says, it brings Tannehill on strike for his first ball. He plays and misses at that one. Beats him with the change of pace there.
Yes, and again. On shorter and hit up nice over shot, backward boy. point. Hits the gap and it's four runs. Nice shot. Two balls left in the innings for Calendar. Jess in. Bowls its full toss and helped through mid wicket. That'll be four as well. Oh, glorious shot. Two fours and two balls for Tannehill as Jess is in to bowl the last ball. This one's hit out over cover. There's a man back though. And they keep it to one, St. Andrews. Well targeted bowling in that over. Here we have Jack Mould Spider. As we can see, boundaries coming all round the ground for him. Including that inside edge for four early on. But a fantastic innings that really anchored the calendar batting in what seemed to be quite tough conditions. End of the innings, and not a huge total to defend here. It's going to be an uphill battle. Well, in our Rain Reduce 2020, the first of the series, 16 overs gone, and Calendar end with 93 for the loss of 3. Jack Mould not out 51. The only other player to reach double figures, Roy Pearson, 27 from 24 balls. St Andrews can't take this lightly though. They know how hard it is to score out here. But they do have the benefit of knowing that they'll need... A little under six and over. We're set to get underway again. I suspect we won't be around too long. Should be a quick chase. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Well, here we have Parsons into bowl to Ross McLennan. St Andrews wicketkeeper and opening batsman. That first ball clipped through the leg side. Big dive from McLennan. They get through for one. Good shot first up. Great fielding there by the man at uh, forward square leg. That brings Seagal on strike. Parsons in its full. Finds the edge, but it doesn't carry through to first slip. Well, we saw that in the calendar batting innings. Not much carry out here. Parsons in again. Seagal, what's he doing? Not a great shot from Yasson there. Feeling a bit of nerves, maybe. Parsons in once more. This one's short and played away through the leg side. A better stroke from Seagal. They get through for one, and that's both openers off the mark for St. Andrews. Parsons in. Yep. One's clipped behind square by McLennan. Finds the gap. I'm not sure if it'll go. No. Man at long leg cuts it off. They're back for two. Gets two. Parsons in. 
Final ball of the over for Parsons. Been a good one so far. This is short. Clinton struck on the hand. Very tidy over there to start up the calendar. Really can get these spinning a long way. Let's see how they go. And we've see we see spin already with the leg spin of Kyle Allen. So Giles in just inside edge onto his pad. Through for a single. Good start for Allen. Didn't get the wicket, but that will have unnerved the batsman. He needs to keep the pressure up. Into McLennan now. It's full. He's driving past the bowler. Out to long on. The single. Allen to Seagal now. One's driven out, but can't beat mid off. Allen in again. Bowling to Seagal, who plays and misses and is bowled. You miss and it'll smash into the stumps. What a ball. Well, Seagal goes for two. Great ball by Allen. And St. Andrews lose a wicket early. The wall is the new batsman about to face his first ball. Well, this would be exactly what Earnshaw was not looking forward to, facing off against the leg spin of Allen. This one he manages to clip down to short fine leg the and they're through for a single. The mark. Final ball of the over for Allen. He's proved a handful. Yep. Clinton forward in this one just clips it through the leg side. Batsman come back for two. And another good over for Callender. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Well, here we see an early change from the calendar captain. Wiley into bowl. He's into Earnshaw, yep. who just plays a little bit early on that one. Gets the leading edge out to mid on. St. Andrews are through for the single, though. Play into McLennan now. He's driving firmly through the onside. Minon had moved around and McLennan picks the gap. And that's the first four of the St. Andrews innings. One for 14 now. This one's edge down to short third man. Maybe getting a little bit carried away there, McLennan. Went at it hard. Should be encouraging signs for the bowlers, though. They're in once more. Earnshaw just plays that out to mid on. They get a single. Sensible batting here from St. Andrews. McLennan on strike. He's on 11. Yep. One's a leading edge out down. to the covers. They get through for another single, though. Final ball of the over. Earnshaw's back and kind of cutting. It's quite full for that shot. They get through for a single. And that was a good over for St. Andrews. Allen to continue. Then bowls and it's played out to square leg. There's overthrows here. He'll get one. One Bit sloppy added. from Calendar. Earnshaw moves through to five. Yep. This one's punched down the ground. A bit aerial from McLennan. It lands safely and they get one. They'll take a single. Down to Earnshaw. Who's forward and playing firmly through square leg. He'll get one. And it'll slow up in the outfield. One run there. This outfield really not conducive to high scoring games. Now 
Alan and again. Again flicked off his legs. Another single for St. Andrews. They moved to 22. Alan to Earnshaw. This is full and Earnshaw hits that firmly over square leg. Just drifted into his pads. And Earnshaw smashes that for four. Alan in again. Earnshaw just leaning on that one this time. He'll get one. Earnshaw's coming back for two. He's not the quickest man on the team, but makes it comfortably. So it's time for a change up here. James is off to have a snack, and in his place, it's Mel Jones. Thanks, Slats. Good to be back. Parsons coming back on to bowl. Well, looks like the captain wanting to get some momentum back. Brings Parsons back to bowl his second. In short and just run down towards third man. That's been a through quickly. It's one run. Sixty-five needed from seventy-one balls from Fis and Andrews. In short and pulled just behind square. They'll get a single. And they go through for one. Clinton on strike, he's on 15. Parsons into him, plays and misses. It's a great ball. Quick too, 147 clicks. Parsons to McLennan. Ball driven out to mid off. No run. Two balls left in the over. It's full and just chipped out towards square leg. That's been a through for a single. Really tight bowling here. Venture on strike. He's on 13. Runs this one down to the man at third man. Parsons has done well in that over. Three more fielders can be moved outside the circle. The right armour is the new bowler from the university end. Well, here we have the second of the two calendar spinners. Max Parsons in. Yep. Starts a little bit straight. It's just yep. clipped away towards fine leg. That's Another been a through for added. one. McLennan on strike. Parsons into bowl. Just driving that. Gets it past the bowler. There'll be one here. And good fielding out there at long on. Keeps it to one. Then Andrews one for 34. Parsons in again. This one's driven. Driven firmly by Earnshaw. Still only be one. One's clipped off his legs by McLennan. Just a little too straight at the moment, Parsons, I think. St. Andrew's quite content to do it in singles at the moment. Earnshaw on strike. He's outside off and driven out to point. Yes, no by the batsman. It's a dot ball. I think that's a much better line for Parsons outside off stump. Earnshaw forward this time. Presses it out to mid-off. Another single for St. Andrews, but a tidy over for both sides. Well, here we have the all-rounder, Jack Mould. He's had a good day with the bat. We'll just continue with the balls. A leading edge. And a big dive there from Earnshaw. Beats the throw. Good start for Mould. And again to McLennan. Yep. Just clips this one off his pads. 
Single out to the man at Deep Square Leg. Fifty five from fifty eight. Molden again. This one's short. As a batsman pulling, pulling hard, but again can't beat the man out on the boundary. And a single taken. McLennan on strike, hold him to bowl. Just clips this one off his pads. He's weighted this one quite well. Batsmen are coming back for two. Oh, a direct hit, I think, would have had him. McLennan back for two. Takes the score to 42 for St. Andrews. Hold in again. Yeah, this one's hit more firmly by McLennan. Just a one. Just accumulating runs at the required rate at the moment, St. Andrews. Six off this over already. He's driven straight. Now running with the shot. Easy single in the end, out to mid-off. Well, changes coming left, right and centre here. Willie into bowl. Once more, his first over going for nine. Outside off stump, plays and misses. in again. Again, Earnshaw That's playing and missing, but it's a no ball. And so we have our first free hit of the series. Free hit coming up. The only way to get out here is from a run out. Bowling to Earnshaw. Not the biggest hitter in the side. So that is huge. He has smashed that one. Nothing to lose there, and Earnshaw has clattered it. 118 meters. Well, that gives him a bit of breathing distance. St. Andrews. Yep. Angel plays this one nicely along the ground. And they get a single there. That six brought up the 50 as well. St. Andrews now one for 52. Punched out to the covers again. Lovely running by McLennan. Quite a wide ball there. Yep. Earnshaw leaning on this one, getting it through the covers. Good fielding though. We'll keep it to one. McLennan on 23. Lays and misses at that one too. Well, some good balls peppered in there, but that free hit really costing Calendar. As St. Andrew's well on target now. Malta continues. and is driven out towards wide mid on. Think about two, the batsman. Great throw in from the boundary there. Then again, and short down leg, Just called wide and it's given as a wide. A good partnership building here. Fifty added so far. Well, then again, one's fuller and straighter. Just clipped in front of square by McLennan. Good work out on the boundary. Keeps it to one. One run there. Hold into Earnshaw now. Yep. Who's playing that one through mid wicket? Another single. He's laid the groundwork now. Solid start. That moves Earnshaw onto thirty. McLennan on twenty-four and on strike. 
Hold into him. This one's hit firmly down the ground, and there's a misfield. It's gone straight through that player's legs. Can't identify him from here, but Bowler will be mightily upset. McLennan moves on to 28. One push through square leg. That's been get one. One run there. Last ball of the over for Mold. He's in to Earnshaw. Gets a leading edge. Just squirts through cover point. Gave a few too many away in that over. Another single to St Andrews. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Angel moves through to 31. Parsons into bowl. He's across his stumps. Hits that high in the air. There's a man back. But it goes for six. Bit of an unnecessary risk there from Earnshaw. Not quite sure what he was thinking, but St Andrews now only need 24. Earnshaw's driving this one out to mid-off. All the way along the ground. Sensible batting. One more to the score. Parsons to McLennan now. He's flicking down to fine leg along the ground. Good fielding out there. Keeps it to one. The postman into the 30s. And sure on 38. Yep. Parsons in. This one's driven out through mid wicket. They'll get one. They're coming back for two. McLennan's quick. And they he ends up making two. it. Great running there by the St. Andrews pair. Twenty needed now from twenty from thirty-eight balls, sorry. Arsons in again. Again. Earnshaw driving down with some authority to mid off. Sensible batting. Arsons to McLennan. Um, he's driving through the gap in the covers. Batsman get one and stick to one. Give away a bit too much there. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Well, it's just a simple swap of ends there for Wiley. Zen yep. full and it's edged. Diving stop there at short third man. Saves four. Single. Another single for St. Andrews, and McLennan moves to 32. Yep. Another edge. Chance here. Oh, direct hit would have had McLennan high and dry there. Resting on his laurels a bit, I think. Earnshaw's on to 42. McLennan on the strike. And a little feather through to the keeper. And that's a wicket. Going well, but the bowler was able to break it before too much damage was done. There will be no challenge here from St Andrews, and McLennan goes for 32. Andy innings there by McLennan, just anchoring the side, keeping them above the right, and Crooks strides out to the crease with only 16 required. Yes. First ball, he. Punches it down the ground. They get one. One run added. Venture on 42. Yep. Ball's full and great fielding there. Diving stop from the bowler. Fifteen required. And sure plays and misses, but it's another no ball. not able to connect there. And another free hit for Earnshaw. Try to get through the rest of the over unscathed. Where's he going to go with this one? Plays and misses. Good bowling. A great channel. Slightly quicker delivery. 
And sure lets them get away with that one. Parsons continues to crooks. It's forward and driving. It makes it past the bowler. Late call of yes. They get through for one. Thirteen from twenty-nine. Parsons in. Bowling to Earnshaw. This one again driven straight. Be another single. Parsons to Crooks who stepping forward and hammering it out through the covers. Sweeper cuts it off nicely though. wide and she goes after it get the drive away and connect oh, oh no Angel plays down the complete wrong line there and is bold Parsons gets a wicket St Andrews lose their third and it might be too little too late here for calendar but certainly Getting some momentum for their second match of the series. Yep. Franklin comes out to the crease. And just nudges that one into the offside. I really rate that nickname. You've done well on that one, Barry. Mold in around the wicket now to Franklin. Yes. Just, just running it down to third man. Well played. And nine required now. Molden again. One's full to Crooks, who's driving. Hits it hard straight down the ground. Now the single. Molden to Franklin. This one's wide of off stump, and Franklin plays and misses. Struck on the arm. Holden again. This is full and driven by Franklin. Just be a single. Long offs up quickly. Brooks on strike. It's this one straight. Doesn't get enough on it. The man running round drops the catch. Oh, it's not been a great day for Calendar in the field. But you'd expect that to be taken and Crooks gets a life. He moves to six. All to be furious. This is full. Driven out to extra cover. Over the head of the fielder, goes for six, and that is the match. Well, there you have it. In our rain-shortened first match of our T20 series between the St. Andrews University Staff Cricket Club and Calendar Cricket Club. Calendar losing the toss and being put into bat and in what was a very soft wicket with a slow outfield. And batting first, they could only manage 93 runs for the loss of three wickets from their 16 overs. Jack Mould, 51 from 57, and some very tidy bowling from St. Andrews. In reply, St. Andrews never really behind the eight ball, though there was a few tight overs at the beginning of the innings, doing it in the end in a bit of a doddle, three for 95 off 13 overs. We'll take a closer look at the scorecards 
and as you see here calendar mold 51 but taking a wee while to get there 57 balls and unless he had people firing around him that was always going to handicap his side just a little bit and with Ian Glenn going for one from nine and Sedant who looks comfortable out there being run out it was only really Roy Pearson 27 from 24 who looked to really accelerate the innings and after he was tied down somewhat by the bowling of Haynes calendar never really got going should mention Tannehill at the end there consecutive boundaries bringing the total up above 90 at one stage it looked like it was going to be close to 80 but a disciplined bowling performance from St Andrews and all only the one wide two leg buys looking at the bowlers McPherson was fantastic out of the gate three overs none for 15 Armstrong as well one for 11 from his three overs fantastic effort from him and you really have to say that it was those two opening bowlers that really set the tone of the match and everyone else delivered on that Hay and Earnshaw are a bit more expensive Earnshaw's first over going for 11 but both brought it back Hay three overs none for 19 Earnshaw three overs none for 23 and then at the end Haynes magical one for five from his two overs bowling at the death and one of those runs was a wide so a huge effort from him and Patrick Jess bowling the last couple of overs a little expensive none for 18 but that's what you expect bowling at the death so chasing 93 St Andrews went out there and just really went about their business after losing Seagal early on to a fantastic delivery by the dangerous Kyle Allen coming back onto his off stump McLennan and Earnshaw dug in and probably should have seen St Andrews through to the total 32 and 43 for them respectively both over a runner ball so both made sure that St Andrews never really faced any scoreboard pressure before McLennan was caught behind Earnshaw was bowled playing an awful shot down the wrong line Crooks and Franklin then at the end Crooks lucky to survive a drop catch on the boundary ends the game with a six and St Andrews go one nil up in the series three extras there for the calendar bowlers and it, the big one really with a two no balls with the three hits that followed and the first went for six off the bat of Earnshaw and that really gave St Andrews the momentum they needed just to coast through to the finish line looking at the calendar bowlers now the captain really chopped and changed through them Parsons bowled well can't deny that two overs none for eight Allen one for 15 did his job Wiley one for 23 and that includes the two no balls and the free hit that went for six so you have to say a good effort from him too Parsons three overs one for 21 again tidy and mauled none for 28 including a drop catch on the boundary and a misfield for four so you can't really blame the bowlers all that much here they just weren't given a lot to bowl at and having to defend just under six and over in 16 overs always puts you behind the eight ball so St Andrews end up winning this one by seven wickets and go one nil up in the series for our next game we'll be heading over to calendar and they'll be playing while we're the AI so keep an eye out for that that should be coming up in the next week or so in the meantime, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different. I've been Jim the Editor, and I hope you hear from me soon.